The arrival in Berlin straight from prison was unexpected, mysterious and dramatic. And after a decade apart, Mr Horokovsky has now been reunited with his parents and his son. I'm thrilled to be here in Berlin, in Germany today, because my father is free, uh, my family is finally reunited. The big mystery is why President Putin chose now to release Mr Horokovsky. With Russia increasingly under fire for its human rights record, one theory is that the move could be intended to boost the country's image abroad. While in the West, the former oil tycoon is portrayed as a freedom fighter, in Russia he's seen by the political elite as a corrupt criminal. Where else could he go? There's no place for him in Russia anymore. He will not be allowed to live a normal life here. In Berlin, meanwhile, there's excitement about Mr Horokovsky's arrival. And it's here that Michel Khodorkovsky is thought to be staying right now. But it's a very significant location because just over here we have the Brandenburg Gate, which during the Cold War was a symbol of the division between East and West. And that's very appropriate because right now with the diplomatic negotiations which have gone on between Germany and the Kremlin, it looks like Germany is starting to see itself as somewhat of a bridge between Russia and the West. This is the man behind the deal. For years, former German Foreign Minister Hans-Dietrich Genscher has been working behind the scenes to secure the release. With close trade and economic links, Germany is Russia's most trusted partner in Europe. Those who worked on his release say Mr Khodorkovsky seems surprisingly fit and healthy for someone who's spent a decade in jail. Now everyone is waiting to hear from Mr Khodorkovsky himself on Sunday when he will appear before the world's press for the first time since his release. Damien McGuinness, BBC News, Berlin.